Hey! Oh my god! Let her out. She wants to go to No, 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 no. Let, let Bam out. Is this one Bam? Yeah. What the f? Is this one Bam? Oh, you know me? Hi, oh. Bam. She wants to go to Okay, 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 okay. Alright, show everyone how you know how to swim. Show everyone. No way. Alright, go. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. I gotta stand outside. Okay. Go. Well, don't. Well, you guys all hyped up for what? Here, go. She, she speaks my language. Bam. She doesn't speak cat, dude. Jump. You're so happy with yourself right now. Okay, Bam. Okay. Bam. They can drink the water? Not really. Okay. Go. I try and get her not to. Dude, my mouth is. They got pulled like That's dope. Hey, what did you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did you say? Hey, I'm gonna lie. Uh, it's a for a million, it's a pretty small pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a dog pool. Oh, it's not even for and you. My other house has a bigger pool. Oh, your other house. Yeah, you trying to flex on me? Dog I don't pool. even have a pool. No, that's you, a dog pool. You're a dog. That's, that's yeah. for you. You're right. You, this is for you. That's All right, guys. Pool. What's up? Um, today we're filming a podcast. It's Brad and his three sons. Um, yeah. Me, Felipe. Sons? <laughs> me, Felipe, and Diego. <laughs> my sons. Oh, look! I'm posting. I'm on Snapchat. Look at me. Look at me go. Look at me, who would have thought this 33 was by the way. I know, Jesus Yo, Christ. I was trying to eat some of your blueberries. Are those from a month ago? Those blueberries are old. I uh, I planted those. <laughs> those are mushroom blueberries. Did you, how many did you eat? I didn't eat any because <laughs> they were old. You're lucky. Okay, come on, let's go inside. Let's do it. Bam, go ahead. One more and then we gotta go in. She won't spend nothing on that. Okay. Dude, don't act like that. Vamos. She does. She does. <laughs> she, <laughs> <speak Spanish. laughs> she does. She does. Hey, look at that. Hey, wait, you just... Hey. You, no, no, make her jump. Salta! Nada! Nada! Okay, say okay in the field. Say okay in the field. Okay. Okay. She's definitely not cold. That dog is swimming fucking Antarctica. All she cares about is swimming. I she like swimming? She, bro, she, she... You saw her get excited? Yeah, yeah. Nothing in the world makes her that excited. Nothing oh yeah, she's a calm dog usually. She's just she calm. goes crazy for the pool. Dog swims better than you, bro. Oh my god, this water's warm. No, it's you have the heat it on. The heater's on. I'm telling you it's on. Huh? I'm no telling you. They taxed him. They taxed? That costs a lot to heat up the pool. I'm like, wait a second. That's probably random a bill, huh? Thousands of thousands of heat up the pool is a thousand. It's not on. It's like five hundred. It's like five hundred. Like five hundred. Go. No, this is cold. No, it's not. It's so warm. Nah, you're tripping. Yo, jump in. Nah, right, bro, it's not cold. Jump it's in. Warm. No, I mean it's not warm. Jump in. Stop, Brad. Stop. Jump I got phone on me. Stop. Brad, help. All right, all right. <laughs> what you got bad hands like that? <laughs> what? Why are you want? It's like you want me to. <laughs> what? He said that he can't manhandle me like that, and he walks away. <laughs> you're sus, bro. <laughs> yeah. What the? He's like, don't do it to me. <laughs> He's like, ah. Please, 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 Bam. please. Go. One more, one more. Bro, come on, we gotta vlog. We were vlogging, what do you mean? This is it. What better vlog than a dog swimming in a pool? I don't really, I don't swim in here. I can swim. I actually really prefer swimming for cardio. All right. Okay, come on, Bam, out. No, 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 hey, out. Out. <laughs> Does <laughs> she come back in like that? Nah, she'll chill out here for a little bit. She will? She'll dry okay. off? Water over here, water over there. Alright guys, so um, it's been a long time since Love we've mom. had... We'll be back. It's been a long time since we've had Diego and Felipe on, so they're going to come on the podcast right now. We're going to talk about some great things. What are we going to talk about? Oh, just wait. What are we talking about? Just wait. About a relationship? A friendship? I'm not kissing your palm. Well, since it's Pride Month, Diego should talk about his relationships. Did you guys go to Pride? I didn't. Oh, uh, you guys spent it in the, the bedroom instead? Yeah. Cardio. We call it cardio time. Nah, bro. My fault. It's crazy. What the f is wrong with you, man? Why you got like 32 inch recess lights? I didn't put those in there. Oh, you didn't put them in there? Okay. Why you don't like them? No, bro. You know how much work that is? It's a lot of work? Yes, you gotta wire each one. Damn, they did a good job then. 
They all work? Did they dim? Yeah, they all work. Huh? And they all dim. See? I'd be so mad, bro. I swear. If I pulled up in that song, like it's kind of easy, but it's annoying. It's a lot of work, bro. No, because it's a lot of light. Oh, uh, shit. like a yellow, too. You look like a light. Uh, white. Well, yes. I, have, I have a bunch of lights in this room that are all just changed colors. You want to see? Let me see. Alright. Right here. Yeah, they hold you with the. Is it three way? At least? What color you want? Red. Red? Set the tone. Set the tone. It must be nice to be rich. That's what I'm saying. This is dope. I gave her a computer. She took, I stole a $5,000 computer. I didn't, oh, I didn't steal it. You said, it. said I could have it. Yeah. She goes, uh, oh, can wow. I have this computer? It's like, you know when a girl asks you for something, you can't say no? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what she did. Is your, is your gaming chair right here? Yeah. This is where like, I see you stream sometimes? Snap yeah. the bottom? And if it's real shit, you never see my comment, I'll be commenting. I just feel like you ignore my shit. <laughs> when? I'll be commenting when you're like on TikTok and screen streaming, because you do sometimes like cross platforms. I just be like, I'll be like, hey, is Felipe annoying? Like just to see if you <laughs> reply something and you don't ever reply. Is it, you say you're annoying? I don't even see that. Like it's me saying like, oh, I heard Felipe's annoying. And then I will hopefully you defend me like, nah, Felipe my boy, like What's I love him. on there? Felipito96 is my TikTok. I didn't see it. I, didn't see it. I never this see it. This is dope. Oh, the lights. I love lights. Yeah, you man. should be an electrician. You should work construction. You've been dodging that shit for the longest. I do that shit on the weekend. Oh, you bro. don't, bro. Oh, my God. house I built around this neighborhood? I don't think you saw our video, but me and Diego worked the day in construction. I took Diego, blah, blah, blah. I would love to see you in the back of the truck. I'd do it. You would not fit. I would do it. You would not do it. They'd be like, he's the guy. Come how back in. How much I got to pay you? Like, like, as like. Like reasonable. Don't hit me with a ten thousand dollars. Like, like a reasonable day of work I for you to do go. it. We're not doing. Bro, I've been telling you for the longest. Well, you have to set it up. I'll set it up for Monday, next Monday. If you're free, you're busy though. You're busy all the time. Monday. I mean, I could not be busy. Monday, Paris, Tuesday, Italy. Yeah, I can't do it. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, listen. If it's like, what are we building? You know. We're gonna dig. We're gonna dig, and then we're gonna carry sets of uh, cement bags. That's too easy. Like a, I can do like a four foot trench. Right, we'll we'll electrical. That's sketchy. That's not easy. You'll just get shot. I know. Wait, I don't want that. Brad, what happened to your fists? Did he punch something? Uh, maybe. Yeah, doesn't he punched something? Or what? Just you know, around. All right, guys. What's up? Brad is currently taking a little poo break. Um, he oh, left, we're starting already. We're starting right oh, now. He left his phone here because he Open told. It. Go through go it. Go through the DMs. I want to so bad. Be I just, toxic. Be a toxic guy. I don't know his guy. password. Uh, it's probably like sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Uh, that's a password. But it's password. six digits. Oh damn, six digits. Wait, do you want to introduce us? We just came <laughs> oh, in wait, later. Sorry. Like um, hi guys, I'm Sarah Safari. Bradley's taking a dump, and we got you guys have probably seen them before. We got the Chicos Toxicos. Hi guys. We got um, Felipe and Diego. They're both looking so little nice and sweet and wholesome. Um, <laughs> Tell her <we're> not. <laughs> My fault. Yeah, they both partook in Pride Month. Well, you have to remember that vlog goes before this. Yeah. The little yeah. vlog that mm -hmm, we just did. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know. So, anyways. Um, thank you for having us again. You know. No, we love. I love having you. We can't thank you guys enough for even considering us for real. No, um, you guys are two of the most I wish, genuine I people. wish Brad was here, right? <clears throat> but, bro, people DM me all the time. They're like, oh, bro, I, I want to be a raw gear athlete. I want to do this. I want Like, they want to be a part of this. And it's, like, crazy that, like, you too. Because you put a, like helped us with content. She's the one that told mm -hmm, us, yo, mm -hmm. y'all should start making YouTube videos. Like, you actually are a genuine person, bro. No, and, you guys are Brad too. You guys are genuine. Well, Brad, like, let's leave him out. He's not here. We don't have to gaslight him. <laughs> you two are, like, two of the most actual, like, genuine people ever. Thank you, Sarah. But like I've seen it, like every with every plus hundred K subscribers you get on YouTube, you do start acting a little different every time. What? A little bit. That's crazy. That has not what happened. What have we done? I don't know. You know, you can. I'm it's kidding. been like four months since we've been on here, no? Longer. No, it's been like four. You months. guys have been doing YouTube for four. You guys have been doing YouTube for like eight months. No, no, no. no. It's been six months. Six months. Okay, six. You months. got us here. Six months. Oh. Literally, like two days ago, six months. Yeah, oh, you really? got us here. When we came on the podcast last time, it was like a month into our. No, it was it was the like, second, it was the third video. Yeah, so yeah. Third, we were three weeks into the YouTube. So you guys, it's been five months, five or six months almost, mm -hmm. since we had you guys on. Well, thank mm -hmm. you for having us again. We appreciate it. No, we we love you. I love you. No, we love you a lot. I love you. <laughs> no, you said that too deep. What? <laughs> I love you too. No, I did it. 
Respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah, hey, I saw course. a clip. Um, oh, fuck. You prefer ugly guys? No, medium I, ugly? Medium ugly. I love medium ugly men. Medium ugly, you say, huh? What like, about ugly ugly? <laughs> First of all, you are not ugly, ugly. He's a cute guy, right? I always said to him. You're not ugly. ugly. No. Medium ugly. (laughs) No, you're not medium ugly either. You are very... The thing about you, Felipe, like respectfully to your girlfriend, like you are... You're... Sexy as... Flash game. Like no, you're sexy. You a sex symbol. I always told your you that. Your personality, how you carry yourself, how confident you are, you're a 10 out of 10. Thank you, sir. A hundred percent. You're a 10 out of 10, too. Gang, you are going to get cooked when you get home. Your girl's going <laughs> to no, see I'm- this no, his girl's amazing. She's, oh, you've met my girl, She huh? is the sweetest girl ever. She set up this amazing surprise birthday party for Felipe. She decked out the whole house. She had, like, candy with Felipe's, like, it was, what's it called? Um, customized. It was yeah. customized candy, customized chips, everything, like, to the T, down hey, for Hey, thank you for coming, guy. by the way. No, bro, no bro. problem. But this girl, like, I, I realize that's the kind of love I want. That's the kind I, that you and your girl have. So I love her. Shout out my girlfriend. Yeah. So Shout when I say... My life. When I say you're a 10 out of 10, I don't mean it in a way that I'm like hitting on you. I, you're an amazing person. Thank you, Sarah. Wow, this is what I walk into. Uh, yeah, welcome how, to the show, man. Oh my God, shit? welcome uh, back. I heard you. <laughs> Holy, like, you use you use poopery or whatever. Poop spray. Yeah, you did. Poop eucalyptus. Spray. Eucalyptus. Yeah, I can smell eucalyptus. That. Yeah. yeah. Damn, For my it smells good. Uh, I want to say welcome to my Mexican son, my Ecuadorian son, and my racially ambiguous daughter, Sarah Safari. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Um, this feels good. Yeah. This reminds I, me of COVID. I feel like you feel lighter. Ah, uh, dude, I'm 10 pounds lighter. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, no Wait, true. they were asking before I think we started recording. Do you ever like, why don't you guys ask him? Like, what? The shirt, yeah, the ahead. shirt. What did we ask him? What did we ask him? Sh- oh, 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 oh. We were just asking, um, has you like, you ever been like taking the, like the crazy mm-hmm. that you just got to get naked? Like all yes. of it. Take the shirt off and all yes. that. Like. Hat off too? Does the yes, hat come off yeah. when you do that? <laughs> yeah. No. Way. Yeah. yeah. No, dude. That didn't happen right now, but I've been there. No. I way. know that feeling when you're like, dude, I need to take my shirt off. Yeah. For this. Yeah. Because they just got it gets serious in there. Yeah. Like, when you put the phone down again, no, you're like, why yeah. is that so real? Yeah, bro. I don't know. Wait, you know, do girls you, do it too, do though. Girls do that too. Yes. Wow. Wait, I have a question. Do you guys ever get shot? Well, I guess you guys. Huh? Shot? No, I, I said shy. Shy. Guys, uh, sorry, I have a lisp. You guys have been in long-term relationships, but I'm saying like, if your girl is over, do you get like poop shy? No, but I do want to. I saw a clip of you guys. I was okay. trying to sound crazy. Every clip I see that you said that you don't fart, fart in front of your girl, or like if you had a girl, you wouldn't do nah, it. Nah, yeah, I wouldn't do. It. I just don't what? do it. I don't know. Just like I also rather go in like the next room. I want my privacy low key. Nah, bro. I feel like you're not in a real loving relationship no, if you don't rip ass in front of your girlfriend. I just feel like it's like a, I don't know, not not a respect thing. It's just <laughs> yeah, like I a, agree. It's like I just want to honestly. I just like my own space too. You I too. Do. I mean, I wouldn't fart. Like in front if of the guy. if you had a boyfriend and he ripped in front of you, you don't. If you ripped in front of me and like laughed about it, I'd be like, what? The <laughs> really? You? really? You, no way. <laughs> you, know, you do too. We're right? bad people then, bro. I literally just go like this. <laughs> oh, you lift the leg? Uh, yeah, I go crazy with it. Like sometimes if I'm laying down in bed, like I'll rip. <laughs> And I'll cover what's, her face. What's, what's her re- <gasps> that's you do not touch you oven did, I swear. Your face. She did what, he do you what? ever do that? What? Like suffocator in your own <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's, wait, 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 wait. So what are their reactions? They get it's like funny, they get mad. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Not like where they're gonna break up with you, man, but they're you're so dirty, stop. What are you yeah. doing? Uh, like <laughs> But that's like the love I feel like this is us just being open. How do you do it? You were I feel like he definitely Dutch ovens. Yeah, Wait, do your that's girls, normal. Do your girls do it back to you? Uh, no, no, they get shy to do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I get shy. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just kind of like avoid. That'd be it. nasty to do to me. Felipe, you're not. I in feel this like situation. you'd be into it, dog. No, nah, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, low key, like he'd be like, yeah, do it. Pull the cover yeah, up. yeah. <laughs> like, he'd still, he'd either go down there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. do it again, do it again, do it again. Like, do it again. Like, like, let's get you so, like <laughs> find some food that would make her gassy, and then be like, yeah, come like, on. Like, yeah. Oh, you're so nasty. Stop. stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Stop. Do it again. Please. Do it again. Do it again. People are just some weird. <laughs> nah, I'm not into that. Nah, like, it's okay. We respect you, bro. What? People are in it. What? No, he went. No, he's definitely into that. No, why would I be into that? Bro, I can tell yeah. by your. I'm not even going to say it. I was going to say your haircut, but and I knew it was going to shoot back at me and be like, what about yours? So, if I can tell by your haircut, you probably, you know, you like some Dutch ovens. Yeah. Hey, so okay. you're opening a gym in Miami? Like, actually? Yes. Like 100%. 100%. You've been teasing us for like the past few years saying I, that you were yeah, going to do so, that. Because before, I was just, I, originally I was teasing about Austin. And mm-hmm. what happened with the Austin thing you was... You were just tipping it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for you were not really going in. Yeah, I wasn't really going in. Yeah, and I wasn't fully committing. And and well, also, we had an amazing spot in Austin. <laughs> Wait, how Elon are we just going to ignore the fact of what, what you guys... He was, he was just foreplaying our... 
It was just yeah. like, it was just slapping that. Like okay. on the top. Okay, okay, okay. Like okay, okay, okay. okay poor women, play. women are here. Women are here. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, sir. Sorry. So, um, yeah, I was teasing for a while, and I went to go get this location in Austin. It would have been amazing, and Elon Musk bought the building for Tesla. <laughs> back no. then. Yeah. Actually? Yeah. Like, because I went back, and I was, like, trying to, they were like, yeah, sorry, it's off the market. I was like, oh, for what? And they are like, oh, Tesla just bought this building. <laughs> no way. And I was like. Elon Musk <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't compete with that. No, he's just like cash. You know what I'm saying? It's oh, like damn. I was gonna lease the building. Cash, like, cash out. He was like, he probably just psh, five mil. Pff, give me this. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. Or so, whatever. Miami. Miami. So the problem with Miami had been like, because I've been wanting to open gym in Miami for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's just always been about like the location. There's not enough space where I really want the gym. But I found a spot that's not too far from like the Brickle, the mm -hmm. Midtown, the whole the mm -hmm. whole area where all the gyms are and all the people are. It's a little more north, but it's it's the perfect size. It has enough parking. There's like there's like tons of street parking. I'm it's really really excited. But it's for it. sure happening now. 100. percent I'm I'm actually down to go to Miami just for that for the opening. Bro, we're gonna have it. It's gonna be epic, dude. So you guys, Diego, I don't I don't go to Miami because of the legal reasons. Yeah, right? you gotta come for this. <gasps> but I would dad's risk it just for you because this Aww. gym's gonna have it's gonna have. It's basically we say it's like it's gonna be two times the size of what mad. Zoo Culture is now. Oh damn! And it's gonna have. Um, amenities that the zoo cultures have never had that is going to be just amazing. I've seen you I'm like super excited. I've seen you talked about partnering with Steve. Is that like a thing going on with uh, Miami or not? So, me and Steve partnered on Origin Supplements, relaunching that. That's mm -hmm. what we partnered mm -hmm. on. Um, Steve will probably be some, somewhat involved somehow in that space in Florida because that's like, you know, his home turf mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but Steve does not live in Miami anymore. No, he lives a little more north, but he's still. You know, goes yeah. to Miami. He has a spot in Miami. He okay. still has a place in Miami, but you know, he spends time in Miami when he does. He like obviously he's such a gym bro that it's like yeah. it's gonna make sense. So I'll, I will involve Steve somehow, um, and then I was also gonna involve Sarah because like she's my you know racially ambiguous daughter that That's dope. I, no, I have I'm to excited. carry. And you know, do you have a expecting like estimate date of launch? I probably say it. it Based on what it looks like now, because it's it's gonna be have to be built out until like I want to know this so bad. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's it's gonna be probably oh. about six months. Damn. Also, because like we have to order equipment, build it out, get the amenities set, everything. What? So by end of the year, we can expect a trip. Maybe a hundred percent. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Because your new zoo in Encino opened January seventh or something. I think you should do it January. You should open in January. I don't even know what the month would be. In that, like six to eight, six to eight months. Okay, right months. now it's month six, right? Okay, I'm terrible so at this. So six plus six, it's probably December. So, but to play it safe, you should probably do like twenty, early twenty twenty five. Yeah, <clears throat> that'd be dope. Man, have a big. It's That's gonna be insane. epic. Yeah, that'd be dope. And it's just cool because, like, for me, it'll be because obviously I've had the first zoo culture, which I originally undershot how big it should have been. Like, I remember the space was double the space that you saw if you guys saw the first one, which was like yeah. seventy five hundred square feet. It was double that, and I remember when I was going to lease it, I was so afraid. Like, is this going to be good? Like, is this going to work? I was I was scared mm -hmm. to put all the money in, and then now I look back on that, I was like, damn, I should have got the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So now we have a bigger space in Encino currently that's incredible. But now we're going like really what I've always wanted the gym to be is that's what's going to be the first gym in Miami. No, this will be dope. And Miami is like the hub for fitness. It's huge. I think LA and Miami are top two. No, yeah. I but, don't know. But, Every time I've been to Miami, it's a different type of like gym bros than LA. I genuinely believe by it. Like LA, I get more like the girls are Pilates vibes. The guys might do CrossFit, like mm. run a lot. Miami's like bodybuilders. Yeah, everyone really works out in Miami and they take it serious. And yes. there's, more, there's more women in Miami that take lifting serious than yeah. there are like men. And that it's take weird. boob job serious. Yeah, they I was going to say, so they take the BBLs serious. are crazy out there. Which is, oh, I, well, I hate that. In Miami. And yeah, we got to make a trip out there for sure. For the gym though. <laughs> for the gym. For the gym. For the gym. For the and gym. the gym. implants. Yeah, they go hard. They 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 just it's it's a very I don't want to say it's vain, but it's like very superficial. And yeah. They're like, but also they do take the gym really serious. They so do. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm very very. They excited buy it about and then this. build it off. Please tell me that you're just opening the gym. You're not moving out there. So. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm what I'm planning to do is get all my dogs in a van and literally do like a cross country. Oh. And then probably buy a spot out there and stay there for you know a couple months. Obviously, as it's being built. And then as it opens, so I'll be out there for a little, a little bit, but no I'll way. always be back and forth. Do you not realize that like, like we have a podcast that's like here yeah. in Encino? So how we have to make some trips, man? I fly all the time for stuff. I fly all the time. For, I don't give. A, I work. I don't give. A, you're the one who's gonna have to step it up a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm not traveling. You gotta travel. You, you don't travel. like to fly, huh? Not that much. What I get to fly to sit down and talk to Brad for an hour. We can have a phone call. Yeah, but we could also train at the gym. You could do all like cool. Shit. 
there. You've been going to Miami anyways all the time. Like, what the Bro, I keep telling Sarah, why don't she takes her vlogs outside the gym too? Like, that'd be dope to see some content like you going to Miami and doing some cool yeah. stuff. Like yeah. Being cool. Respectfully, obviously, like, as a, like, like, cause I know you're not like every other girl for real. You're not. You're actually respectful. <laughs> well, I and love you, that. And you have boundaries and morals, and, Thank and you. we respect that. That's what I'm saying. Like, Tell it'll be Riz. fun, bro. See you do other stuff, bro. Real I shit. appreciate it. Cause Thank you're actually you. entertaining. Like, like, real. Shit. Like, I ain't trying to glaze your shit. You're actually, like, funny. Dude, like, you actually w make me laugh. Crazy. crazy. Not real. Thank shit. you. No, you're so sweet. No, oh, you day, I, knew, I, knew what you, I know what you're doing, well, bro. The other, <laughs> the, other Yo. day, the other day, they FaceTimed me. They were watching my YouTube video without any audio. That's we, love. We were, just we were, showing, to, we were watching the, the ads and everything. Yeah. We, 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 without we, audio is kind of weird, though. No, because huh? we're trying to get the watch time up and like the ads play, get her ad revenue up. But why not we don't skip the ads. We, we don't want to hear what she had to say? Not just really. Wanted, I just wanted to show her love. Like, uh, just get her view, get a little view up. Like, but shut up, though, right? No, for sure. Like, like get in the kitchen. I don't know about that part. You no, should, no. You should do a, a no. cooking vid though, I like will. a legit cooking vid. I did. I actually, I love cooking. It's one of my favorite. Dude, you so love it, but are you good at it? Bro. Yes, and I am good at it. It's one of my favorite pastimes. You should do TikTok. Oh my, you should do a TikTok like packing my husband lunch a vid, bro, and that would go crazy. But you gotta make that the nastiest shit ever. But well, that's you be easy like, for her. No, I'm honest. <laughs> nah, bro. That's the pasta de verga. No. That's the pasta de verga. You know, one thing I do love about these two is that they're nice and respectful. They know when, a, when to stop a joke and when it's too far. Yeah, I know. I go too far. I think one time I said I, I said a joke and bro, I was like, bro, Sarah's never going to talk to me ever again. What was, was, joke? was a joke? It was, it was with somebody else and I said, I was trying to be funny and I was like, um, I was like, oh, uh. What's your body count? Like on some stupid, like I, even when I said that, I was like, bro, I was punishing this, that stupid ass. And she got like, she wasn't mad at me. She's like, why would you ask that? And just she walked mad. away. And bro, I looked like an idiot. But you mad. asked me that? No, or you, you but you were, you were, you were with somebody oh. else. And I asked the, her, who was I asked it? her. Who was it? Uh, Faith. Oh, yeah. And, <clears throat> and, and, uh, it was, uh, bro. Oh, you don't remember? Thank God. I didn't God remember. Remember. We just brought it back. I just brought it back. <laughs> but yeah, I literally called that. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to disrespect you guys. Because it was a stupid joke. I was just trying to be funny. And it's not funny at the end. No, it's okay. No, you you guys are both very respectful, amazing people. Like genuine, amazing people. Thank you so much. Like, I love both of you so much. We appreciate much. you. And the glaze goes back ways. No, they, ways. you know you love them too. Yeah, it's no, something, they're respectful. There's something different about them. Yeah, well, they're not you love scumbag me. pieces of shit. You love me. You sound like I feel me. like you never say God, it, bro. You're like my real dad never told me I love you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my dad didn't tell me neither. No, I swear, uh, I swear, I swear before dark, my dad passed. Dark, dark, dark. That was dark. That was a dark joke. Sorry, guys. Okay. No, nah, I swear before my dad passed, like my biological dad, bro, I dad asked him, like, bro, you love me? Because like, really, like, he wasn't really talking to me. And I swear he got out of that shit. He's like, you know I like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I Yo! swear, bro, I have, I think I, I don't want to put that you out know there. I like you, but man. I, I, but I, how do you say it in Spanish? How does that say, like, how I was like, he... I was like, apa, en serio, me amas? And then he's like, mijo, tu sabes que yo, yo, yo te quiero. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I just didn't want to ask him no more. But it's I not... swear, but I was genuine. Like, I was being honest, because first he wouldn't call me on my birthday, and, then I, and it was more towards the end of his, like, you know, his life. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, I was like, yo, real shit, do you love me? And he's like, Hey, I like you, man. Like <laughs> you're my son. That's but, crazy. But it, look, but it hurt. But like, but like, I got my answer though. Like, I can't bitch about it because I got my answer. You know, I got what I wanted. You get me? Like, I I shouldn't have asked if you don't want to know the answer. Then, then don't ask. The it's kind of like when you ask a girl, a girl for like closure, and she just like, yo, just tell yeah. me if I if I play, if I pleasured you or not. Yeah, now exactly. let's keep it moving. Oh. Let's, let's move. And you gotta know it. Like, you I, gotta fix your game. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, Dude, yeah. Hold on. Did you just relate your father loving you to pleasuring a woman? <laughs> yeah. That I was Insane. I'm just saying that what I was trying to relate to that is how you just you got to hear it whether you like it or not you got to hear the your closure you get you me gotta like, get the you closure. can ask a question like you got to be ready to get the, the response yeah you get me? whether you like it or not damn we didn't like the answer bro. I didn't like it man I don't <laughs> think I got it on film because I told my girl that you're filming like I really want to hear him yo that's on <gasps> film that's on, on my snapchat wow memories. holy sh I mean I still love him you know he still made me and shit, yeah of course literally why do you think it's Why do you think it's hard for people to say like I love you? And he was just old school because my dad was way older. Like I, like I think I've said this story online before, but my mom when when she had me, she was nineteen. And my dad was forty two. Yo, that sounds like a Brad situation right Holy there. Yeah. yeah. So he was like old school, like old school Mexican. You get me? Whoa. Damn. Congrats to him. <laughs> nah. Nah. Let's <laughs> come on. Nah. Fuck them, Joe. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yo, bro. Yo, 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 yo. Now that we're on the topic of the I love you, right? Oh, my. This 
Felipe text me one day, <laughs> was like emotional, like he meant it. And nah, he's like, because you. Nah, nah. Let me finish. Listen to this though. Listen to this. And he's and he he texts me or he calls me and like we just talking. He he hangs up the call. He's like, uh, I love you, bro. And I was like, Yeah, I love you too, bro. And he texts me. He's like, Yo, why don't you say I in front of the love you, bro? Bro, you're like I a swear. Kid. Nah, I you're like a swear. He said that. He's Dang. like, Bro, if you don't say the I in front of the I love you, it doesn't it like doesn't mean. mean it. Yeah, bro. Felipe is just like me. He's right. Felipe, it doesn't right. mean anything. Bro, bro, I was just like, "Love you too, bro." And he's like, I "Nah, hate- bro, you gotta say I love you." Like, I'm not saying I don't tell him I love you every single day. Like, oh, but say it back to me. <laughs> but when I do say, it, I'm like, "Yo, it's I love you." It's kind of sounding like I, I love you, bro. Like for real, like I, I genuinely love you. And he goes, "Love you, bro." Bro, it's the same. It's it's you know, be like, oh, "I love you too, bro." I, I love you. The eye in front, you, front of that love is just like too strong. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I, strong. You don't mean what it. Do you, what do you say to your girl? Then he you don't say mean I. It. No, I love you to my girl. Yeah. Oh, so you love your girl more I don't say love you to. But no, I don't know. But it's just weird, like saying that to I my feel like guy. It depends on the context. All good, bro. All good. No, he says it every time. I love you, bro. Like that's how he says it every time. Cause I, I genuinely love my. Dog. That's you love. That's love. But like yeah. the eye in front of love is just a little strong. But I, I just want to clarify. I don't be calling Diego every morning like, "Hey, bro, I love you." Like I'll say it from time to time. I don't know though. Huh? Twice a week. How do you say it? Nah, like once like every six months. Do you doesn't. say love you to your bros? <clears throat> he doesn't say it. At all? No. But you've been hurt mm. that you've been you've damaged. Been f- up, I huh? mean, you must have seen some of it. Yeah. Uh, I know, man. Dude, you don't, you know? you don't even me when I'm like, love you, you don't even say it back. Yeah, yeah. man. Y'all ruin my boy, bro. I really yeah, thought I'll when I got signed, you would be like, man, yeah. I love you. But right? now you I, just like, you just, uh. Yeah, I like you too. You just you busted a dad on me. You yeah, yeah, yeah. dad on me. Uh, 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 I Mex- like you. Old school Mexican dad on uh, yeah. you. Yeah. I f- with you, man. Yeah, f- yeah you good though. Yeah, you good. Yeah, you dope. You funny. Like you cool. <laughs> like you cool. And <laughs> you cool, bro. No, I don't know why. It's like uh, I don't know. It's it's a it's they've not been, to get so hurt. deep. It's just like nah, they've they've done your <laughs> dirty. Like they <laughs> no lube. Just yeah, you can like. You know, I don't know. I've just had experiences with people that it's like I've said that to yeah, yeah. for a long time and like this switch up. I feel it. So when was yeah. the last time you said I love you? Probably to your mom. Oh, I say I love you, my mom. All no, the of time. course. You yeah, got yeah, to yeah, all yeah. the time. No, of course. Every time I talk. I think to I've her. met your mom once. I just said hi. Like on some. She's the sweetest lady. Man. Your brother's amazing too, man. Really yeah. cool guy. Yeah. I, I, I tell he's down to earth. And he's cool people. Yeah. Yeah. He texts me all the time, man. He's doing. He dude. paid off his brother's truck. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Bam, bam. <laughs> he just bought a dirt bike. So I have a dirt bike. We're gonna next time we link up, we'll go f- rip. I can't Bro, I've been trying to get a. I've been trying to get an ATV. Oh, like a four wheeler. Yeah. No, I get a dirt bike. You ATV? think so? Like, yeah, that, yeah. That's ATVs worth are the kind investment. My for... phone. They're dope. They're dope. But like, it's like you know in... what they call me El Rey de las Rutas. No, they don't call you that. King of the route. They don't call you. that. They do not call you that. They do. Don't be going the speed limit. Don't believe them. Calling you. I'll be honest with you. He goes like to speed limit. My phone got 15 k just like around. Saying, in that community, it's like it's like what two, four wheels? Like come on. It's kind of like if you two. snowboard and then like you look at skiers like you're. Oh, uh, okay, now I know. Yeah, you got you definitely buy buy two wheels. Trust me. Okay, you're okay. way cooler. <laughs> you can afford it, man. We yeah, can afford good, it, bro. <laughs> We're down 23 bands right now, man. What's, yeah, what's, what's, <laughs> what's a good like size? Like the CC thingy. Like, I mean, a 450 is 350 be good. 350, well, but you're bigger though. Like yeah. a 450, you 450? feel good on. Okay, but you need enough power. Okay. You don't gotta kill it, you know. No, of course. Just but yeah, you guys got robbed. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Those don't guys. touch the lamp. Companies with LA at the end of them. Huh? Yeah, yeah. We bro. can't say the name, but <laughs> it, it, it has the LA name in it. Nice. Twenty three k is a lot of money. Twenty three k is a lot shit of, money. of money, bro. bro. bro what? Dude. That's they've how much been, I made a year in construction. They've oh, been shit. doing YouTube for five, six months. Twenty three k. That's probably all of their money. That's that they've a made lot off YouTube of money. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot, but uh, it's a learning lesson. I mean, like we talked about it. You got unfortunately, it's like lessons you have to learn by yourself. I don't, well, we didn't want to, but like when you're opening a business or starting anything, but I don't understand why you just didn't ask me. Still. I know, bro. People were commenting that on our videos. Why didn't you ask Brad? We just don't. What, what do we say, we, Felipe? We just want to be co- completely transparent. Brad is not at the gym just scratching his nuts. He's a busy dude. And I know you said it. You said, man, when it comes to business, of course. But you guys don't know and you guys don't see everything on camera. Brad's been taking advantage of, like, yeah, by his closest friends. And we just didn't want to think. They do we really were, respect We were trying boundaries. to take advantage of you guys. You can ask Nate, bro. When he asked me, uh, he was like, bro, why don't you, like, uh, do things with me and like Brad and all that, and I was like, nah, I just don't want him to think we're trying to just like leech or. But I wouldn't. Take it opinion. wouldn't be that because it's it's transactional. It's just a matter of safety for you guys. I get it, bro, but you it's know? just like, just out of us wanting. I, we respect. I, I know me and Felipe talked about it. We respect our friendship more than just like doing business together. Like I if that it. makes like I, I don't want to interfere or anything. But it's it. like that simple business. That's not complicated business. That's like this is this is what it is, and this is what you get. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not. There's nothing beyond that. It's just making sure you're getting what you need when you need it on time, so that you're not your fans aren't like what the. 
supporters. Yeah, supporters, supporters. But then yeah. at the end of the day, like, we wouldn't learn if we didn't take that. You know, it's like a business. When you start a business, you didn't hit jackpot right away. I'm sure you had to take oh, them expensive. Everyone ass. knows I made a million mistakes. I mean, look yeah, at my yeah. story. Like, look what happened to me. Exactly. I trusted the wrong people for a long time. Exactly. But then, like, okay, you tell your story, but I, it's still people. It, you could tell. It's like when you tell a kid, don't touch your, don't put your your hand on the stove because you're gonna burn yeah. yourself. Yeah. The kid's still gonna do it because it's until it happens to them they won't learn i told this i i said the exact same thing yesterday on a podcast with chet i was like you can it's all just like where you're at in your life and how much you know to that point mm-hmm. to be yeah. willing yeah but next time fucking nah. hit me up yeah now we easy. know easy you'll be taken care of not it's over. like giving your friend relationship advice and you don't even take your own relationship yeah. advice you just got to be ready to you know learn that lesson sometimes people just learn the hard way it's just that it that's the only way you can it's experiences learned yeah so happens it is what it is moving forward like life goes on we got to figure it out so yeah it is what it is. Yeah. But I don't get it. Like, they just were like, mm-hmm. thanks for the money, bye. It's, like, what the fuck is... What is- to summarize it, just for like a little backstory, you know, we did the hats. We dropped our hats, whatever. Yeah. And then we uh, wanted to do shirts. We were ready to move over to like drop our shirts because people were asking for shirts. <clears throat> and um, they wanted a 75% of the deposit for the blanks, the blanks and the design and all that. So the total was like 31000 but we only gave them 75%, which was twenty three. And mm-hmm. so... They um they want which is already crazy by the way. What you just said is like they were they were ready to rob you. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, it's, yeah, it's, it's a learning experience, bro. It's a learning experience. But uh, yeah, we gave them the twenty three bands, and then they were giving us work, bro. Like the like. Like we're you, not dropping to our audience. Yeah, yeah we're like not, that. We're not gonna be like, oh yeah, that's cool, man. That's all you could do. Like, and hey, we're gonna still drop this. So we're like, bro, this, like, yeah, this, yeah. this is like what the f- are you giving us. Yeah, and then bro, there it was just a lot of, and then they're like. Okay. And they weren't meeting us with deadlines. We're yeah. like, yo, we need we need shirts like, done by this right day. Wrong, when you drop when you drop a dope rock your collection, you gotta promote that. You gotta you know you gotta do the photo shoot. You're not gonna do it the day before you announce it. You get me? You're not yeah. gonna no. be like exactly. We're like, bro, two weeks in so advance. What are they doing to fix it? They're just saying. So you. now supposedly <laughs> they um, we're in the process of trying just trying to get. We we told them because they did such a work on the just samples alone. We're like, oh, we don't want to work with you anymore, bro. Like, just give us our blanks because we order blank tees. We're yeah. like, give us our blanks. Um, so that we can take our shirts and just go somewhere else and do the printing somewhere else. And uh, till this day, we haven't gotten our blanks or our money. So we're just kind of like lawyering, lawyering up at this point. What the? Yeah, bro. It sucks, but it is what it is. That's what we got to do. That's insane. But it's also because like they probably saw like, the, like these newcomers trying to start something 100%. and just trying to take advantage yeah, of us. Yeah, but you know? that doesn't mean you just rob somebody. That's no, just LA people, that's man, people I guess. Are. Some yeah, people, that's not that's LA some people, general, some people, yeah. some scammers so I, out there. I just want to clarify, I'm from LA. Well, not from LA. Like, I was born in Mexico. <sighs> Thank you in LA. for the clarification. Thank you. Yeah, they just, uh, yeah, bro, they just got mad because we didn't want to work with them. We just pretty much told them, like, bro, we don't want to work with y'all no more. Y'all, y'all it was suck. unprofessional. Like, we didn't pull out for no reason. Like, yeah. It was so unprofessional. Yeah. yeah. But it is what it is. She give me that contact, I'll hit him up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'll hit him Bug up. Bug it. threat. Uh, no, I'll just figure no. it out. I yeah. feel like he would, he would figure it out for you. Yeah, I could figure it out. For sure. Yeah, we clarified it in our videos that we just dropped. We were just like, yo, let's just tell yeah. our audience to be transparent what happened. Because we were supposed to drop a month ago or two months ago. And we yeah. didn't drop it. We had to cancel it because the whole thing going on. We are just like, let's just, I'd rather be transparent and vulnerable. With just put me in contact audience. with him. I'll figure it out. All right, but yeah, you got shooters. You got it. no, just what? <laughs> well, you just <laughs> him. Just Put conver- that out. Just, just, just conversation. Just them. No, not even well, that at all. Just conversation. Just a conversation. Conversation. That's just to be like, we got to work this out. I can figure that out easy. Um, you know who I, I met your boy Sorry. the other night. Who? Who's my boy? Mexican OT. Where at? Yeah, he's in LA right now. Yeah, he was performing at this um full squad gaming thing. Oh, full squad gaming wants to have you on their podcast, by the way. What's I don't do? I, I sound like so I don't know exactly what that is. Oh, I'll show you. They're dope. Like they make yeah, they make dope content. Okay. But anyways, they have this huge studio. You would love this studio. They have it's like a nerd's like biggest dream. Like gaming stuff? Oh my god! And they have a UFC ring in the studio. That's dope. Like an official UFC ring. You could go in there, fight. They're like, if you guys ever want to come make content. Where is this? It's downtown LA. Oh god. I know. Okay. Anyways, Mexican OT was performing there, um, and I went up to him, like in the back room. I went up to him. I was like, Yo, I met you one time, like outside it? Bradley Martin's. It was a venue. I don't get it. No, it was a it was a huge studio warehouse thing. Okay. He was performing there. I was like, yo, I've met you at, at, outside Bradley's before. Like, I'm Sarah. And he was just like, uh. <laughs> oh, no way. He little like, broed you. Yo, I yeah. love that guy. And he little broed me. But he was like, when I said I met you outside Bradley's, he was like, who? He little oh. broed you too, Loki. <laughs> no, he, he did not say that. No. He was probably drunk. He said, who? I think he was because he was about to perform. No, there's no way. 
Did you text him? <laughs> no way. No way that happened. Nah, face face, him right now. Let him know. Bro. And then I was like, nice to meet you, but he didn't. He, yeah. He He's probably just drunk. Uh, that's what I thought. Like, what do you guys say? Bill? I thought Bill. Yeah. Let's see what he says. Is that true? No, I'm not. Personal. I'm a FaceTime his dad. No, what Ask him if he loves me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I bring back, I bring back my, memories. So I'm going to say it with the eye. Make sure he says it with the eye. I'm not even mean it. Oh, man. Oh, Damn, he's not even picking Yo. it up. Yo. What's up, man? What's good? What's good? Yo, how come How come this chick right here, look, is this Sarah Safari, right? She said she saw you at a in, uh, at some venue in downtown LA performing or something. No, no, I, no. <laughs> Here. I met you in the back room and I said, I've met you at Bradley's before. And you said, who? Who? <laughs> 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 no, I met you in the back room of that venue at Full Squad Gaming. And I went up to you and I said, hey, I'm Sarah. I met you outside Bradley Martin's one. I said Bradley's. I said, I met you outside Bradley's once. And you said, who? You got to say the full name. Oh, yeah, you got to say the full name because the other Bradley I know is AWOL off meth. So whenever you said that, he popped in my head. Oh, you got to say the whole thing. What the hell? Oh, my bad. She duped me. She here, here. She tried to make it sound like she, you was like, what the who? But you see, uh, there's a different Bradley. Uh, this, this is my boy right here. I remember meeting her, though. She was cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. We just, I just want to call. Are you still in LA? Oh, are you doing a podcast? Yeah, we're doing a podcast. We're doing a podcast right now. Are you still in LA? <laughs> Do some shit. Okay. Well, I gotta come out to Texas soon. I have a plan. I have a plan with the sketch. I'm waiting on you, bro. I'm ready to fucking have you shooting everything out here. I want to see you shoot Tannerite. Yo. Yo, can I come? Blow, some blow some shit up. You, oh wait, I would don't you like blow guns. anything up? No, 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 you're afraid of that. I'm down. I'm down though. We're gonna put, look, we're gonna put corn on that. Could get about a family of 10, 20 of those. And <laughs> blow that <laughs> up. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Let's do it, man. All right, brother. Bradley Martin, be good, baby. I love you, bro. Man. Ba See you, bye, man. bye, Mexican. <laughs> yeah, he's dope. Hey, Brad. You got him thinking about some tweaker. I'm sorry, yeah. I... Oh. Brad, you got motion. Yeah, what? He do, he you do. got motion. Especially Why? the Hispanic community. You got motion. You got motion. Yo, I was in, I was in Compton. <clears throat> no, no. I was in Compton. Like, maybe, I, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if they're Mexican or not. I'm assuming they're Mexican. Came up to me. They were like, Bro, you're part of these fools. No, no way. Like, what? <laughs> no way. Straight no up. Straight way. up. That's funny. I mean, the, the, I don't know what it is. It's just, I think. I, I want to meet them. I've never met them. They're no, so they're cool. cool. They're cool. They're cool, cool, they're cool people. I think it's like, uh, I don't know. It's just such, it, it's just close knit. Yeah. The community's close knit. Yeah, 100%. <clears throat> did you, when you started, did you, um, did you ever work? Like a, like a real <laughs> job? <laughs> I was wondering that's that. That's not what this I was going to ask. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. no, was a good question. Yeah, so my first jobs were, I was a lifeguard and a swim instructor for little kids. <laughs> was a lifeguard? Yeah, listen, listen. Oh, well, first first job ever, I worked at Quiznos. Ooh. Oh, shit. I don't know. Yo, that's you how long the ago it was because Quiznos, I think, went out yeah, of business. Yeah, they out of business. First Damn. job ever, I worked at Quiznos. It's like a sandwich spot, like a Jersey oh, yeah, 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 or whatever, yeah. right? And I used to make sandwiches, and I quit. Really I remember good. being like, because she would always complain about how big I would make the sandwiches. <laughs> So I, like you, you're able to make like a small sandwich, and I was like, ah, I don't make a big one. I loaded it, and I would just get in trouble every time. And uh, this is when I was 15. By Damn, the way. Damn, this I was, was work before the Chipotle. That's how I was. Yeah. At. I used to work at Chipotle, by the way. Sorry to cut you off. That was my yeah. first job. I used to serve the yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. I I but I was, I, I worked on a workers' permit, so I was working when I was 15. So I was a little mm -hmm. kid basically mm -hmm. doing this. And I remember being like, "Fuck this job, I quit," because I was like cleaning <laughs> the dishes, and she came in and was like, "You made another big sandwich." I was like. And I, I didn't say it to her, but I remember me like I left like quit like I'm like on my high horse. Yeah. And then I it's then stupid. You told me a, the story. Yeah, as a 15 year old, and then I was a a lifeguard and a swim instructor for kids at like a pool. Like uh, you teach little kids how to like swim. And, and then I was a trainer under like a trainer who worked at like a private gym in oh. a, up in the bay. And then I was a trainer myself. And then I was a trainer pretty much my whole life up until like I started training like some celebrities and like. At the time, it would have been like video vixen girls because mm -hmm. that was like before Instagram and like OnlyFans and models on the mm -hmm, internet. Mm -hmm. It was just like girls who were kind of in magazines or in like hip hop videos. Okay. And then I started meeting some like celebrities and then I started training celebrities. And then around that time is when like the internet started to take off. And I was like, oh, I, I should focus my energy here because this the celebrity thing and training celebrities is like you're on 100% of their time. And you got, I got paid really good money, but it'd be like, 
at any moment show up here or fly here or do this with me here until like you're my trainer and come with me. Mm -hmm. And like my schedule was all over the place. So then I was like in that moment doing like social media and it was climbing on like Instagram at the time. I must have like 200, 300,000 followers. And I was like, oh, I started the online coaching thing. And then it was like, oh, I should just focus on this because it's, it's, there's so much more here for me to do. And then I just kept going. But so I'm basically I'll, a trainer my whole life. So and, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, when I was a trainer, I, I worked like, I was at the gym literally all day because I would train, but I, I, I swear to God, I probably spelt, spent 12 hours at a gym. Yeah. Like training, trainer, trying to get clients. I did it all. So at, what, at one point in your life, though, you thought tr being a trainer was like <laughs> that. That was it for you. That was the rest of your life. Yeah, like I, because I, the internet wasn't existing. I wasn't, there wasn't, oh, I could, I see Bradley Martin or whoever's a social media guy and I could do what he's doing. Like kind of how you guys grew mm -hmm. up and you're like, I want to do that because mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. see it. I was just like, my end goal was like, I'm going to move to LA and I thought I was going to train celebrities, which I started to do. And then I thought, okay, I'm getting there. I'm going to open a gym and have like my own facility and just train celebrities there. That was like the top of what I was like in relationship to fitness at the time. That's the top. It would have been like training celebrities in your own facility. That's, That's kind of what you do, but you just don't train them. Yeah, like you're well, on I mean, your own time. I'll you're train like, some. Yeah, it's, it's exactly kind of yeah. what I do. Because now I'll train like these celebrity influencers or whatever. And even some celebrity people and like around and make content. But that was Mookie my Betts. vision. Like, yeah. you, you, you train celebrities when you want to. You're just not on anyone else's time but your Which own. Which is crazy. And yeah, you're a like, celebrity. Like genuinely in my beginning it was like I'm going to be a trainer. That was it. Open That's a gym. crazy. Because the internet didn't exist. It <laughs> remind mm -hmm. you. It wasn't mm -hmm. like there was like, oh, I can do what they're doing. And then it just became a thing through like me making content. So Not just me, tons of us. My question was, I wasn't going to ask if you ever had a first job because you, that was you. But I was going to ask when you did, how did you tell your mom that, like, how did you make her understand that social media was making money? Like, because, or did she, like for us, like us, our parents, like my mom still doesn't understand what the hell, how I make money doing this internet stuff. Dude, and, same. Mm. I feel like my mom swears maybe I'm like doing something and sus on the side. Yeah. And like my mom has that mindset of like, I need to go have my, have my job, you know, get yeah. my degree, have my job, have my like career. That's the rest of my life. Yeah. And then you know, trying to break it into her, like what social media is and how I make money. Like, how did you tell your mom? Like, you well, know? it's cool. Cause like, obviously, you know, that the generation, like even your mom's generation, like they, this is all still brand new. This mm -hmm. sort of, they would have been not, this wasn't a thing that people did. Right. So my mom, same thing. <clears throat> I remember really young, I must've been like 18 and I was so into working out. Cause it was like the first time I felt like I was really a part of something. And I felt like, you know, I had like father figures in the gym that made me feel like loved in a certain way because they were teaching me and, and showing me things and i was like i love this so much i want to do this and this is the really making me feel good about myself mm -hmm. in which i lacked a lot for, like my whole childhood so i remember telling her i was like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna like this is like literally when i was 18 so whatever year this was i don't who could like do the 1970? math 1970 <laughs> yeah 1970 <laughs> can anyone do the math on that it was probably the year 2000 no when i was 18 yeah. yeah. Actually? Yeah. yeah like, Damn. I'm so bad at math. Two th wait, you're so, 35? No, 35. In the year 2000, you were 12. You were born in 88? So 2008 okay. then? Yeah. yeah. So 2008, 2007, 2008, I told my mom, I was grad I was getting out of high school, and I was like, um, Damn, I'm going to- you were getting out of high school? Yeah. I said, I'm going to do this fitness thing full time. And she was like, <laughs> yeah, me and your dad like to work out too. Like, kind of like, what yeah. are you talking about? Because yeah. it wasn't a thing that you could do unless it was like-, like Unless I was a professional bodybuilder, which was way far off. I mean, I was 18, 19. I, I looked decent, but I wasn't near anything mm -hmm. for that. And and uh, I'll never forget that conversation. She didn't like diss me or sun me, but she was like, yeah, like me and your dad like working out too. And I was like, no, I'm going to do this for real. And I remember going to uh, Sac State and all I did was work out. Like I would, I, I went up to, like it was, it was in the dorms. It was like, I would I would go to the go to class. I left early and I would end up at like the school gym and then I would ride my bike to like a 24 hour fitness, like literally ride 30 minutes to go train, do cardio. I was like obsessed with working out, insanely obsessed. And uh, didn't you say like you'd walk around like flexing or doing abs? Yeah, exercises? I had a real problem. I had real like I tried to I would try to flex my abs 100 percent of the day, even while I was going to sleep. I would try to keep my abs flexed. I had a real what? like OCD issues. Like yeah. imagine right now. You're just flexing. I'd be like this tight. I'd be like, my abs would be tight. Like I'd be laying, I was so obsessed with like looking a certain way at one point that I, I ruined my sex drive completely. Like my stopped working when I was 18. Cause you were on steroids? No, <laughs> uh -oh. because I, because I, I, I thought what eating like healthy was, wasn't what it was. Like I was like, oh, I'm eating no fat cottage cheese. I'm eating blueberries. I'm eating oatmeal, everything plain, chicken plain, no oil, no fat. I wasn't getting enough of the nutrients I needed. Mm. And I was overworking like crazy. Like imagine I would go out every single night at 7 p.m. at night 
and I'd run. I'd do sprints on the American River, which is like right by my dorm. I, I, I lived in Desmond Hall. So if anyone knows Sacramento State, I was in Desmond Hall. You'd walk out. You'd go to the American River, and it was like re- literally you walk up this thing, and it's right there, this paved thing. And I would pick points, and I would just do sprints. I would sprint, and I'd listen to Neo. I'll never forget yeah, yes. this. Neo, like, uh, what was the? Love song? Yeah. All the love songs. Yeah, all yeah. that. And I'll never forget that. I'm the little tiny Damn, little. You were, who hurt you at that point? Oh, I was hurt, dude. My, yeah. my, my iPod dad. Nano? My you fucking had an iPod dad. Nano? I had a, I, you know the iPod with the, the yeah, thing yeah. with the little button? The shelf of the little I had, a, I had an orange oh. one. I had an orange. I have it in the garage, so I can show it to you. No way. And I would, I would literally I'd play Neo, and I'd be like, yeah. Oh. I'm so Damn. sick of Oh, it makes me sad a little bit. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, wow. That's weird. Brought you back, huh? Yeah. Naming the little details of like orange iPod, I think. Yeah, that, like, it's like a nostalgic. Mo- yeah, yeah. Uh, that's weird. Holy, sorry. No, you're good. No, it's okay, bro. Stop. I'm uh, gonna cry too. If Jesus you Christ. <sighs> but it's like good. It's like, bro, it's your story. That's yeah. what. Him sharing that shit is a story. Like. Whoa, that hit me hard. Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, I just had so much pain. I remember, and like. Whoa, sorry. Um, I don't apologize. I uh, it was it was nonstop. So it'd be like I'd do the sprints, and then I would like go back, and I had like dumbbells, and I'd be doing curls, and then I would ride like a BMX bike. I got an orange BMX bike. I'd ride it to twenty four, like thirty minutes away. So uh, okay, I'm good. Uh, <clears throat> and then I'd work out for like an hour, and then I'd ride my bike back. And then, like, any time I would eat any food, this is a real part of my life now that I think about it, like, up mentally. And uh, I would, I'd eat anything, and it'd be like, oh, I ate something, I have to do curls, I have to do push-ups. To compensate for, like, the calories a- in or whatever. Every, I was just psychotic about what I was doing, but it was, it was, it was based in just, like, trying to avoid my thoughts. So mm. it was nonstop. Mm. For time, it was just nonstop. Like, I remember it was, like, the second I woke up, my abs were tight, and I was like, it was crazy. Like, yeah. it doesn't even make sense. And I guess another job that reminds me of another job that I had at the time, I uh, I worked as for, like, one season. Like, it must have been, like, a winter season when I was up north in, in Sacramento. As a, You guys will get a laugh out of this. It's a little on Diego's line. Um, I Because I, I was so lean. I was so lean. I remember I had an ad vein, an ad vein coming from, like, the top of my head. Like, <laughs> what? But, you know, listen. <laughs> no, listen. From like my so listen. I know. Listen, but from like from like the base, you know, like the base yeah. it would come up like through my abs, up under my chest. That's how lean I was. So Ew. I was so obscenely lean because I was so obsessed. Felipe's and, like, yo, you got a picture. He's like, yo, show me that. Yo, I don't believe it. Let me see. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you saw it. I was insanely <laughs> lean, but this uh, there is a picture of this somewhere, and I will find it. and I will show you guys. Send I it. was an Abercrombie head, like in the front of the store. <gasps> Shut up. And no I wore the Mount way. Hood jacket. No, you didn't. You know the big Mount Hood yeah, jacket yeah, with yeah, the yeah, fur. Yeah, yeah. And I had at the time this. Everyone will love this because no one sees it now. I had curly hair like a surfer. No way. <laughs> so I gotta see that. Oh, I was like, I could have been a demon, but my <laughs> didn't work. My <laughs> did not work. Wait, Bradley, you Bro, were an Abercrombie and Fitch I was model? an Abercrombie model. I would stand at the front of the store and greet people. I was wearing the Mount Hood thing. I had no shirt on, and I just had the jacket on. You know, at the front of the store? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I could have been a demon, but literally my penis was inoperable. Damn, I remember yeah. being a kid walking past like those models outside Abercrombie and Fitch and be like, what kind of like sex store is this? Because like, 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 They pay yeah. you know? good for that. I bet. Yeah. So that was my that was one of my first jobs as well, which is just a seasonal thing. That's a crazy Bradley Efron. Yeah, dude. And I was just like, <laughs> but imagine me like curly hair look like a surfer. That's crazy. Oh man. my god. That's a dope that was, look. Yeah. When did you start losing it? What age? Like 22. Damn. Bro. <laughs> no, I'll never forget because I was I had my hair. My hair was always long. And I remember it was. Yeah, no, it was. It was long and it was curly. And so like I remember one time I was like, I want to shave my head. I shaved my head. That's Never no grew back. And I was like, <laughs> it started growing back. I was like, what the f- is, what the f- is this? And I remember being like, no, this is no real. Way, like, bro. This is real. Like, this no is my life. Way. I've and been it, thinking about getting a bus because Teresa, I'm not doing that. No, no, no you're, you're, bro, you're, your hair is great. Your hair is f- amazing. You'll, you'll never lose your hair. But it's weird because your brother has long curly hair. No, he, he's, he's, you know, his hair is receding to yeah. his spots. Like, my dad, we, he, you know, he fed us on that too. You know, he didn't just kill himself. He also their hairlines. All right, bro. Uh, Come on, it's like, it's, a, it's uh, all good. It's all good. Uh, but like, yeah, man. Like, I'll never forget those times in my life. But it was really obsessive. It was bad. 
was to the point that it was like really, really highly unhealthy. Like the fact that I remember going to the doctor and being like, I trying to tell my like childhood doctor that knew me my whole life back in my hometown. I was like, yeah, like my doesn't work. And you were what? How old were you? 18. So like, you know. like you really couldn't get up? Could not get no up. Way. Even like, with like, you had 10 I had a girl strippers. At, right I had a girl at the time. Like she would show up and it would just be like. Pfft. And did she, and you I, weren't even on steroids yet? No, none of that. Nothing. I <laughs> myself with my diet and my activity. Just way too much. Like, cause what I understood was like, you, I got to a point where like my fighter, like, cause I started doing a bunch of research. This is what actually got me into understanding about nutrition and even steroid hormones, all this kind of stuff. Cause I was, I was learning that like, I completely was depleting my adrenals. Cause my body was constantly in fight or flight, probably cause I was so mentally unstable mm -hmm. and like upset about things. And then I was doing so much activity and then I wasn't eating enough food. And then I was trying to keep my abs tight. Like I remember it was a point where I, I would wake up every like 30, 40 minutes around this time as well and wake up to go pee. Cause Damn. my body was like eating itself. Cause I was doing so much like, and my body was consuming. Like, so you make like a, like if your body starts to break down muscle tissue, like you will pee like the sort of excrements. Damn, of that's crazy, bro. Yeah, I was in a weird position, man. But I, it's the thing that actually changed my whole life to be like, okay, how do I actually do this right? Because the thing that changed my whole life, I'll never forget it, outside of my father passing, this is going to sound funny, but was my not working. I was going to say your dick yeah. not working, yeah. Because oh, then I was, that's when I was like, I went to the doctor and I was like 18, like this, what's what's going on, man? Like, yeah. I, And he, he gave me a pill, I'll never forget it. Like um, a honey pack? No, oh, like uh, I think it was a... Uh, no, it was, it was a Viagra. It oh, was just, he shit. probably should have never done that to an 18 year old. He yeah. should have just said like, yo, but I remember, I'll never forget. He looked at me and was like, have you been eating? Cause my face must've been sunken in. I was super lean. Like I was describing. Mm. And I was like, yeah, no, I eat all the time. I eat super healthy. And he was like, what are you eating? I kind of explained it. And he didn't really have much like nutrition knowledge. Right. He was like, oh, it sounds okay. Try this. Long story short, I remember that's when I was like, okay, the pill worked once. But if I didn't take the pill, it didn't work. So I had full on like ED at 18. Right now, that's when I was like, okay, I can't keep going to the doctor and getting a pill so that I can have sex. It's stupid. Yeah. Then I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? And I started, I, I was taking like a, a nutrition class at Sac mm -hmm. State. And then I got so interested in like nutrition, how the body works, like why this happens, what happens with this hormone, what is the purpose of this? And that's when I got like, yo, I actually really love this. Then it went from like, super lean to i'm not gonna lie i got kind of fat like a little fat because i had this massive rebound of like things i should have eaten mm. and then and then i got you know from there it was like now nah, i'm like a bodybuilder because i got so binged it for yeah I, I i binged because like then i started eating things that i should have eaten my body was like probably clearly like what the fuck, finally and then i couldn't stop myself from eating then i got a little chunky not like felipe chunky but chunky <laughs> yeah sorry sorry but i gotta like but you know what I'm saying? But, but i got a little i got a little i, I got you. a little so i can relate no i'm kidding um, <laughs> dude, I love you. I love you. Nah, I love you, I love you too, I love bro. You. I, I can love take a joke. I'm, I'm not you. a bitch. <laughs> so, Brad, but, but it was a, it was a good thing. It was like overall, like they were just like you said. You could tell someone this is how you do it, and I just that's how I learned it. Yeah, the hardest way possible. Literally, my whole my Ooh, whole life hey, truly no has pun. been. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the hard, the, it is i've yeah. learned everything in my life the hardest way possible yeah and like so yeah you really have i have but that's why i know and that's why i tell you like but now like, you're now you're like a demon right like oh doing, bro what no you, you, you got test now it's different test hey that's now, a real yeah. thing huh test well your drive is for sure yeah, higher 100 yeah. percent like your drive and everything is higher. Your 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 thoughts of like, yo, I can do this or I can have this is this higher. I mean, that's what testosterone does in the body for mm -hmm. men and women. Same thing. But yeah, that was a crazy period of my life. Like that was I'll never forget when I started describing the, the I that me up because like that was so real. Yeah, such a real part of my life. And I did that every day, seven days a week. It was a but psychopath. It was just your escape though. For sure. That was it. Because when I did it, it was like in that moment, it just felt a little bit better. And I was like, oh, I way rather feel like this than like that. So let me just do this as much as I can. And it gave you something else to fixate on rather than like issues, deep rooted issues from prior. It Which, gave you like calories or like working out something else to fixate on and beat yourself up about rather than. Yeah. Actual. Which was like a weird thing because looking back now, it was such a good thing, such a bad thing at the same time. Because those are also things that I should have, I should have like taken moments and not. Cause let's keep it real. Like all those things I did for sure, like me up, but then also help me. But ultimately you do have to take time and just like not mass things with other things. You have to take time and go like, well, why am I really feeling like this? Yeah. And I avoided the 
fuck out of that. Mm-hmm. I was, I'm avoiding everything. I was like, fuck that, I'm running. Fuck that, I'm lifting. I don't give a fuck. That was cool, but it wasn't. In the hindsight, it's like, I wish I had just like probably went to therapy or yeah. probably just sat and like, what, why am I having these thoughts? Like, what am I not processing and not dealing with? Because it may, it may, but at the end of the day, that's how I had to learn, I guess. Yeah. So, this experience. But if I could, if I could recommend to someone now, it's like, do something. A little bit outside of just like, because a lot of people turn to drugs. The gym's a great drug to like turn to, different sort of drug. But like, if you're just masking everything all the time, you're not fixing something. You're mm-hmm. just throwing a band aid on it over and over and over and over, and it never really heals. Yeah. So, you know, it took me a long time to eventually start to actually try to heal myself, but which I'm still working on. But then it's crazy because then you go forward in life and you get new iterations of the same sort of like distrust or disloyalty or like using and it's like it's not the same thing as losing a father but it's like damn it's like this again do me dirty it's like not the same obviously but there's like it just gets i don't know it's crazy yeah but you get better at dealing with it and you just get to a point i got to a point where i'm just like if i do it and i and i'm okay with it then i'm good and if now i just learn like i'm not going to do it if i'm not okay with it i won't and i won't expect like oh if i do this for someone they're going to have the decency to reciprocate it i'm just gonna do it if if not it's fine yeah that's where you have to get to otherwise you'll always be like but i like but like why would you do that to me because i did this for you and it's like you just can't expect everyone to think like you think or be like you are yeah so that's that's, both just spitting facts right there yeah well this is some real this is you got me talking about some real like my real life yeah everything i just explained was like word for word yeah i could tell you were very descriptive about when when you started bringing the ipod in i was like i'll never forget that with the little the Things that go in your ear, man. Oh my god, the neo, not kidding. Yeah, and I would sing to that. Oh my god, which are like amazing wavy curly hair. Yeah, just it's sprinty. <laughs> yeah. Just pick it, like pick, like literally. I would like till I was feeling like I was dying, dude. I was going so hard, like picking, like you pick like a you know like a pole or something and sprint to it, and then pick another one and sprint to it. Walk, sprint. I was insane. It was an insane person. Yo, maybe you have a little bit of Emery and you picking the orange bike and the orange iPod. Damn, look at that. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to ruin the moment. Yeah, I like burnt orange. I like when I first made the the BM Fit gear logo in the beginning, years ago, nine years ago, um, it was orange. It was the fading to orange. It was like this color scheme. You just always liked orange? I like the burnt orange color. My Mm. first G Wagon, burnt orange. Yeah, the G Wagon? Yeah. Flex that. Yeah, no, no. I'm just just saying, like, I I love that color, that burnt. I like something about it. It's just like dope. Like the red orange. Yeah. It's called Sienna. It's the name of the color. You've been through a lot of. Bro. Maybe you should name your first daughter Sienna. That's a fire <laughs> name. I will, I'm asking. I said like, yeah, that's a good idea. My bad, shut the fuck up. Holy, <laughs> I would. That's actually I would do that. No, sorry. <laughs> I go ahead. Go ahead. Now Sienna's a dope name, man. Yeah. yeah. Sienna, you said no. Sienna. Oh, Sienna. Sienna. Like the like the minivan. Don't I you will name that? my daughter that if I have a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. You be yeah. You, I think oh no, I was gonna say you just been through a lot of. Do you ever uh feel like I'm in fucking therapy session right now? But like, when was the last time you really sat down and like soaked in a moment like? No cameras, no phones. Like, do you ever like, like for example, like at UFC, like that's some crazy. Like, that's not normal. Not a regular smegler Joe Smith is gonna just be able to be next to the president or like next to these crazy. Like, do you ever like really like, damn, like I'm doing some. Like, I, I'm like this. This is crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's it's weird because it, if it kind of gets to a point where you do it for so long that it feels normal, which obviously I, I know it's not the norm. It's crazy. But obviously, I got to give love to Dana White. To- and Steve will do it. He's he's Steve was always the reason why he like I was around and in the in that mix because he's just you know my real homie and would always invite me and always want me to be a part of stuff. Um, so shout out to Steve. Um, beyond that, it's like I don't know. You you kind of get to a point where it from the outside looking in as a viewer, it's special. Mm-hmm. But it it is, and I'm grateful for it. But it's all just people. Yeah. You know, it's just obviously it's a person that so many people look at or they're like, oh, my God, what is this guy doing? Or Donald Trump, or Dana White. But they're all just normal people, yeah. like genuinely. Yeah. So I guess because I'm in it, you're around and you're like, oh, these people are just cool. And this is normal. And like for me, it's I've been doing this for so long that it, part of it does feel kind of normal. I, obviously, looking out like I see why I'd be like, damn, that's cool. Yeah. But it's just it's it's do you I think you know. take it for granted? Like, like you like catch yourself like I catch my like today. I told you in the gym, like the simple. Like uh, we, us going to zoo culture, millions of people around the world know who you are and they go to that gym because like, that's like you promote, that. everybody wants to go to that gym or be a raw gear athlete. And like, we've been doing this for the past two years that I catch myself. I'm like, damn, like, I don't, I feel like I'm just not, I'm still grateful for it. But I catch, I caught myself today. I was like, I looked around the gym for a second, like five seconds. And I was like, damn, bro. I used to like, I used to, I moved to from Florida here 
to like go to this gym and, and try to become a raw gear athlete. Now that I have it, I get the free raw gear uh, clothes. I get the free gym membership. And I feel like I'm just like, oh, whatever, it's regular, but it's not. Like, I just had to catch yeah. myself today. I was like, bro, what I'm doing is not. Yeah, like, I mean. Just, I, 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 what you think? What you think, Leaps? I didn't catch it today because, like, uh, I'd be going to Zoom more, more often. Yeah. But I caught it the other day on some serious, some serious, like, real story. And Bro, I hate that. I feel like I hang out with you too much, but I be getting emotional now. <laughs> Yo, but they you cook my shit, bro. Yeah, they I cook know. my shit. And I be yeah. like. You I'm get like, emotional. I, you like saying I want dudes to say I love you. <laughs> yeah, but I never me. cry like on camera, and I'm like, no man, Brad could cry two sixty six four. I'll cry, <laughs> right? But um, I remember when I used to work construction. I'm go, man, I'll be in until I die. I love construction, man. And um, I remember I, I used to go to your gym, and I, my schedule was wake up, go to construction, get off construction, go to Zoo Culture, and th- make two videos in advance. So in case I don't go to, like in case I get to the gym late because it's from I wake up at like 5 30 get to a job like where we would meet at like six we go we drive however long it is we get material we start working at eight eight to 12 12 to 12 30 is lunch 12 30 to be honest if the bus if the boss wasn't there from one to like 5 30 <laughs> you know we start picking up you know we head out we get back like no nah, not even like we get home pretty late like seven right but anyways I from from the job site, I'd go over straight to your gym, you know, straight to zoo culture. Because first, I was doing powerlifting. And shit, yeah, but most important shit was content for me. Like, I love lifting. And because at the time, I was skinny. Believe it or not, I was skinny. Or I remember fit. that, too. Um, I was like, yo, if people see that I could bench a lot or deadlift a lot or squat a lot, they're going to keep supporting my content. So I'd go and try to make skits, right? And I swear I'd wear the same three shorts all the time. Cause I didn't have no more gym clothes. I didn't have no more gym clothes. And then the other day I got my package, my raw gear package, and I was hanging it up. I'm like, damn, bro, I have so much raw gear clothes. And it just like made me realize, like, bro, like, thank you, bro. Cause same three, I'm not I'm not gonna shout out the brand, but same three gym shorts. And I was like, bro. And I just wear like the tea that I had from work, or like I bring an extra tea. And then, and then now from like getting my package and I open that, I have a ton of clothes. And I'm hanging it up. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, thank you. Thank you for real. For even it, it's just a small thing of clothes, but it goes really a long way. Like, I learned, my girl was there. I was like, yo, remember when I used to wear the same fucking three shorts and the, the same, it was a nutrition shop shirt. It was a red nutrition shop shirt. And I just mix and match it with the shorts. But it's even crazier beyond just the clothing stuff is like what you guys have done, you know, with it. Like you guys have seemingly look like you're, you're, changing the rest of your guys' lives in what you're doing, actually. Thank you. We're trying, bro. Like, the clothes, you obviously, but don't. Thank you, bro. It. Like, you don't... And I'm, we don't say this to fucking Glazers, bro. Like, we don't really say it for, think, like, attention, bro. Like, it's genuinely. It's really thanks to you. Like, like, really think about it. And I'm pretty sure you think about it. Like, hey, I, put, I put these motherfuckers on. <laughs> <laughs> Which but, I don't care. We, don't we've announced fun, it so yeah. many times. All three of us in this room. Yeah. We've announced it so many times on podcasts we're in, even on our own shit, we're like... Y'all can call it's, us glazers. We just we give our flowers while we can while you're still here, bro. It's crazy, man. It's 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 weird to me. Like it, because for me, yeah, none of this existed. Like mm-hmm. it, none, the gym wasn't a thing until obviously I made it. And even in social media, like it wasn't a thing that I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a social media guy, and make content. Like I was telling you earlier, I was just doing shit that I like liked. And even when I started selling clothes years ago, I was just selling stuff that like fit me good and I thought made me look cool. You know, or that I liked. And then it, it just, it all became this thing that is just so much bigger for so many more people. Yeah. You know, as much as I like to, on the scummies, is it me over a little scum LA, shout them out, you know, give them some love because they <laughs> probably want another customer list. But it's like, even in that setting, it's like, it's crazy to look back and see how much has actually changed so many people's lives. Because, yeah, even for the good, you've changed, like, you've been over a lot, but like, well, even those. These three people, like in this room, you've changed all of well, our bro, lives. Well, bro, even those, right? They've done an amazing job. As scummy as they are, they've done an amazing job. I was there from the beginning, mm-hmm. even re- in relationship to that and this hole in the wall that we were both in when we when I came to them and said, "Yo, I want to sell this hat and this tank top." Even where they came with me, in relationship to all this mm-hmm. and everyone that they've worked with, I was a part of that from the inception. So it's like to see all that. To see Zoo, to see social media, to see all these new influence, to see all these people in the space, like the jobs, like and the, the jobs that you guys are creating now, the jobs that I've created, the jobs that they've created, the jobs that like are in this space is like, as much as I feel hurt in a lot of ways, I'm still grateful. 
I'm grateful that I was a part of all of it. Yeah. Cause it's cool. Like, you know, maybe it gets lost in translation here or there, but like, yeah, dude, it's like, it's weird to me. It's weird to me because you didn't plan it. It just happened. It was mm -hmm. like it was just supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. And that's when it's like, when I think of stuff like this and we have these conversations, it's just like, this has to be something. There has to be something more. Like, this has to be a God thing. No, there is, bro. Like, it has to be that. 100%. And like, you guys being able to go from like, you born in Mexico, lived out here, like illegal, like you're, you're probably eventually going to be like, have citizenship, have a family, like build your business, build your life from this is like, you and how many other people have done that through like what we've all done, mm -hmm. you know? It's a blessing. It's all like an extension because then it's like if he puts us on and then we put other people on or like, you know, other people are inspired by that. It's like all a... It's like crazy, man. Synergy. Yeah, it's weird. Life's weird, man. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like, yeah, I'm grateful. Should I spend more time to just like sit and be like, yeah, I'm grateful? Yeah, probably. I, I should. And I yeah. try to. But like I'm also, there's also so much more I want to do. Yeah. Like I want to, I want to have, I want to have this sort of, you know, this whole thing we're talking about kind of comes down to like the gym. Cause that became like the networking hub of it all. I want to have more places like that throughout the world where like people are able to do that and create this. I mean, we're always going to want more, bro. Yeah. That's like realistically, you can be, I mean, what do you think? Like, I don't know, maybe even after millions of dollars, whatever, you still want more. Yeah, I mean, money at some point it doesn't, it, it's not like more because I need more. It's like, it's not even so much making the dollars. For some people, I, some people are mm -hmm. greedy scumbags who only care about dollars, right? Mm. But there's a difference between people like that and then people who like are are really invested and in love with like the, the growth of things. Mm. Like seeing something grow to be something that is like, you guys are having this conversation with me about the relationship to it that's changing and affecting your lives and making your lives better. That's the beautiful thing that like, if I had more spaces, that could I create more of that in Dallas and Vegas and in Miami, like, can we do that for more people? Because mm -hmm. then it's like, you're you're changing kind of like the world in a small niche community yeah. in a yeah. way, and that's cool. And that's something to be like, yo, if you're dying someday, it's like at least I got to do my best there. Yeah, and like, because what else is it all worth? Because money's cool, but like, it just at some point, it's like you can get more, you can have more, you can buy more things, in it, but it doesn't mean anything at all at some point. It only means it went so, like it means everything when you don't have it. Mm -hmm. And then when you have it, it's like it just matters more like, OK, what experiences are you having with people throughout? Like the, the purpose matters more. Yeah. Towards the and so I'm just like, how do I get more? How do I push more towards that? Because also when I think about it, the success that I do have with it all. While I was getting the success, not a single part of me was like, I want to get money. I'm going to have money. I'm going to, I'm going to be able to, it was just like, I'm doing what I genuinely loved, what just made me feel better about myself. And like, this is, I was just posting it. Yeah. I want to be able to Money's just do more of that. Perfect. You know, it's just like, yeah, talking about that is like, it's all just kind of, it becomes frivolous at some point. It means, obviously it means a lot, like to be able to pay your bills, to be able mm -hmm. to like live comfortably, but you get to a point where it's like, what the f are we doing? Just make more money just to make more money for what, you know? Yeah. For taxes. Yeah. So local <laughs> yeah. Sam could take yeah. more, but it's like the, the, like what I was saying really was when I had the most like upward trend or upward success in my life where I'm like building something, I wasn't thinking about how do I make more money? And that's why a lot of times like I doubled back and I was like, damn, I kind of got taken advantage of by a person who was only focused on making money. Cause I was focused on like making content and a lot of my content, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, but I would train and then I would just talk about my life. Literally, I remember that. And so it would just be like, you I actually would lift. out. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would talk and I would just talk about where I was at in my life, what I learned, like, how I felt and that was just me be me whether I ever had a camera or not I, that's what I would have done that's what I did before I had a camera I would I, go, I, go ahead sorry sorry, sorry no man. I would go and train and I would have long like life conversations like just about where how I felt about myself what was I good at was I going to be better can I be better like what am I fucking up which is friends like I remember, I'll never forget my one of my first lifting partners his name was Ryan Sport and I would just talk to this guy we would train every day and then we talk for like an hour and go get food and, like that's just what I did and it just became my life on YouTube and people were like this is cool and it was like, I, but I was never like, I'm going to do this and make a ton of money. It just came because that's what yeah. my heart was in the purpose of the, the sort of the purpose. And then it became the thing of like, oh, wow, this guy's cool. And it was, it was, that's why, like I say, when you more align yourself with like, why are you actually doing it? The money comes. You don't have to try to get mm -hmm. it. You don't have to snake someone because they had it before you and you can use them. Like all these that I ran through, shout outs coming and all these but it's like you you realize like there's more to get out of sort of relationships with people that are based in something genuine or real and yeah. something that has real purpose. 
And if you could do something with purpose, whether you find someone like that you can collaborate with or see like, how can we make something that is like really dope for, for like us and for everyone else? The money it's, comes. It's always there. Literally, like, I forget that this podcast even, like, makes us money because it's just enjoyable to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. I was going to say, I think the reason why you're still, because you, you're an OG in the game. Like, you've been, uh, you've been here for a minute. Um, and I feel like the reason why you're, like, so still uh, relevant in a, way, in, a, in a good way is because you've been yourself the entire time. Like, you haven't put, <laughs> like, nowadays, like, I see, like, these other... Uh, influencers or whatever social social media creators that just put like this character they play this character or like they play this like something that on, on camera they they're like playing to be something but then when they're off like they're completely different and i feel like people catch on to that quick it people want to relate to you like people and want, also how do you keep that up exactly Think for so many it. years you can't like you i've can't. been me the whole time and i've made why. all the mistakes i've been i've, I've been in situations like man i wish i would have had this conversation sooner I've done it all. And that's why when you talk about am I good at talking, we kind of cut off camera, but you say he's good at talking. You should have went to college. That was a funny joke, by the way. <laughs> just kidding. But it was just like, that's just because that's, I'm talking about literal things that are true that happened in my life. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm saying some just because like, I want someone to think, yo, that guy's cool. And he said this and he sounded cool. I'm just saying what's real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's like, that's all I've ever done. And I think on that note of like also sustainability or like staying relevant, like, transforming with the times of content mm -hmm. i also have to give it up to like the internet i got a little lucky when it came to the speaking content that we're doing right mm -hmm. now that people are consuming mostly i just always did that and i just felt kind of fell into it because i was like something that i just naturally always did mm -hmm. you know so it's like uh, there is some luck to it too where it's like man you find the right time and the right moment and this for me was something i did whether i was training or filming videos or not it was just what i always did like i would have conversations with friends that were just We'd always be like, man, why are we getting so deep? You yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was always that guy. Yeah. But that's because that's who I was and that's what I dealt with. And that's what I was constantly thinking of because I was so obsessed with death and like, how am I going to die? And what is life? And what's the purpose of this? And trying to find all these answers. And you just get to a point where it's like, there's no answer. It's about love and it's about sharing it with other people. That's yeah. all life's about. Yeah. Whether you're chasing money or not, because like we made money. People created money. It's not like, it's not something that humans just innately were like, yeah, you're born and Money's a thing and it falls from trees and you got to get it. It's like we created it so we can control and have power. But like, that's not what makes humans human. Like other humans, interaction, love, like relationships and feeling purposeful in some sort of like movement of like, are we getting better as people or as a person? That's what makes people human. Not yeah. money, man. You focus on money, you, you're all, you're just spinning circles and it's mm -hmm. never enough. Mm -hmm. So I even talked to Will Smith when I interviewed Will Smith, because I had that conversation about like, I saw on a podcast, he was talking about how much money he made. The guy was like, how much money are you worth? And he was like, uh, he's like, uh, he's not answering. He's just kind of like, this, I wish everyone could have all the money in the world. It's like, realize like, you still be miserable. Yeah. You know, because it's not what actually matters at all. It makes life easier. But. Of course. And for me, the best thing, I always say it, when I started getting money, the best thing, you'll like this, my boy, food. That's what I say. I say now I you can eat just good. eat a little Sorry. bit better. You eat good, Sorry. man. Not no, that was the best thing. Was I was like, I could eat whatever I want, whenever I want. This is the best thing in the world. That was the best thing about making money that I could say, like, without a doubt. And it's funny. You think about that? Like, the most basic need, food. Yeah. But oh, you need it. You need it. Yeah, you need Otherwise, it. you're dead. You know, But that's the thing that matters the most. You know what's funny? I remember when you told Felipe uh, when we started up our YouTube and you were like, I mean, you about to get only fatter because you about to start making money. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. And he's like, you're going to be eating good. Watch. Man, what's going on? I eat regardless. I was fat nah, regardless. You've been eating better. Like, you've been taking your girl to catch at lane. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's been eating good. I'm going to just keep it at this, bro. My girl was there when I had $100 to my pocket. Yeah. Not even. Like, almost down to my last. I literally took her for our anniversary dinner to some, some sushi spot, all you can eat, right? And I swear... It's a real story. I uh, I had a hundred bucks left in my account, and the the dinner came out to like eighty something, right? My, we both got water. I thought, oh, I'm just on my diet, you know, just get water. You feel me? And I paid the bill. Had twenty dollars left to my name, and I had to sell my SBD belt. I sold my SBD belt so I could have a little bit more money so I could Holy continue this social media, like trying What's to do a social SBD? media. It's show. a squat bench. It's a squat belt. bench deadlift uh -huh. belt. It's like like all the powerlifters want that. Yeah. Bro, and it's sometimes belt. harder to get. Like they sell out, and basically, I sold it to my boy. I was like, "Bro, I give me what, what's your what's your price?" He's like, "I'll give you a hundred dollars for it." That's just worth two fifty. I said, "Here, bro, you got it." And I I literally just, and then 
I just thugged it out for like a month with that hundred dollars. What you're talking about, the coolest thing about all that is, I think, just in perspective for people who watch this stuff or watch you guys or you know followers or fans or whatever you want to call them, supporters. Um, you're a clear indicator of someone who didn't have at one point. Essentially, obviously, you had your family, you had money your girl. wise, money wise. Okay. You know, I mean, just call it what it is. It's not like you you didn't have all the tools to be able to figure it out, right? But you still figured it out. That is like powerful, man. That's one of the most powerful things because a lot of people who watch this kind of thing probably feel like, man, I wish I could do it too. There's just no way. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I, I I don't have the money. I don't have the connection. I don't have the time. Like you, you force yourself to figure it out. And like, congrats to you. Like, I want to give you love and I want to give you your flowers on that because it's important. But also for everyone watching, like you can figure it out. You can. You proved it. Thank you. You know. I Thank think you, some of it is a little bit of luck. Like uh, whether sure. you want to admit it or Location. not, I think yeah, yeah. luck comes into play. But it is luck with dedication and consistency and there's no doubt about that like i said earlier about luck like my my timing wise for a lot of stuff is like oh yeah. shit. like i was born at the exact right time to be able to even be a part right, of this right, way yeah. that i was so i'm not saying that, like there aren't certain things that like you just can't change mm -hmm. but like even you identifying something you want to do and yes. like doing everything you could to figure out how to do it you did what you needed to do to do it yeah so like luck and all that stuff aside like you yeah at some point you got to just try to figure it out and that's kind of the message i'm trying to say is like wherever you're at in your life and if you want to be somewhere else, you can be there. It's like, but it may not be on the time that you want it, but it can eventually happen if you put the effort towards it. That's you, all. you just gotta really try. I feel like, yeah. and you gotta be able to fail because what's it called? For example, I'm just, I said, lucky that your gym is not too far from my house. Yeah. So when I lost my car, yeah. I just either take the old orange line, and not pay to right get there, off, right there, right yeah. there, get dropped yeah. off right there, or I have to walk. It was like a mile and a half walk, which wasn't bad. You get me? You could walk that. If you really wanted to get there, yeah. you would walk it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean. No, I remember Felipe and Diga both, like, when I first started working out at the old zoo, like, two years ago, they were both, like, making content there. Yeah, he was the airplane guy. guy. We've been. Yeah, he was Me and the Felipe have been making that. He was the that, airport yeah. guy, and then Felipe would always. uh be the annoying guy, huh? Like, hey, sir, you want to come on my yeah, vid? Yeah, he'd be like, yo, you want to come on this video? <laughs> and it would always be the funniest videos. Like, he'd always be so creative with it. Yeah. Felipe's always believed. I, and now I, I, I'm like, Felipe, please put me in a video. Call. <laughs> no, please, please, please. Just, no, I was going to yeah. say, I think it also just goes just to like piggyback a little more and add on to it. It's just like truly believing in, your, in yourself. Like you knew what the f you wanted to do. And whether it's like if you want to do content creation or doctor, yeah. lawyer, whatever you want to do. Like if you truly think you can get there and you have your mindset on it, you're going to do everything in your power to make that happen. Yeah, but obviously I mean, with a little bit of luck, but it's also with that, like you said, the drive. Like yeah. if you know it's, you can like, you, feel, you just feel it. You're like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Like I got fired from my job. Yeah, I, I remember oh, that I was remember funny. That. Back against the wall, I could have I could have gotten another job. Realistically, I had two options. I got another nine to five and I was like, you know what, it's just I gotta pay bills, I gotta pay my rent every month, I gotta figure it out. Um, or I could just really go all in. And then I think I talked to you or I forgot who I talked to, and you were just like, You've been told us to do YouTube. You're like, right, just do YouTube. Like that's yeah. where it's at. And then you told us, and then that's just how it started. And I went all in with Felipe. Pause. Pause. <laughs> pause. 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 Deep with pause. Felipe. Pause. 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 Even you just you're good at like teaching or like giving headway. I remember like you had told me you were like, sir, you know, you like you're going to start making money. Like you have to open an LLC. I was like, what is an LLC? Like, yeah. what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. He was like, Sarah, you go on this website and then you go on this website and you get an EIN number. OK, and then you go to your <laughs> bank with those information and you open say, a bank yeah. account. And then I was like, what are you saying to me? And they don't teach us school. No. They don't teach you none of that. Why? Why? How many influencers talk about it? Well, because they want you to. I mean, we get real conspiracy theory, but they want you to be just stuck in the system. Like yeah. this is left, like having a business, creating your own thing. It's super left. It's like, and I don't mean left as in left or right. I just mean like it's left field. It's not, yeah. it's not the norm, it's crazy. right? They, they want people to be in that. Playing in the soccer terms, you said yeah. left field like baseball? I don't I don't know. I'm just saying it's not <laughs> left wing, board, left wing. Like, I'm just saying like where you want to go, it's like they push you where they want you to go. That's the reality because, like, they just want more numbers working in that sort of system. Even still, like, up until this day, like, I texted him last night. I was like, okay, I know you can get a loan from a bank, but there's also you can shop for a loan other places. And I was like, yeah. okay, well, Brad, like, knows everything about, like, the business side or, like, things like that. But I'm saying, like, even you as a tool to help with things like that, it's, like, greatly appreciated. Yeah, I mean, I've like made, business I've made stuff. all the mistakes. So that's why I was telling you, 
maybe mm-hmm. it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. I made all the mistakes. I've like I've done it already. Dude, yeah, and he responds so quickly, and he never like asks. I don't know questions. about that, man. <laughs> Wait, sometimes you know, I've been left undelivered. You're right. Sometimes he <laughs> lags forever. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm glad he uh, he actually responded to my happy birthday message. I thought he was going to leave that shit red. Dude, I know. I was scared too. I was like, I love you, son. And then he was like, thank you. And I was like, I didn't get the love you back, but like, we're good. <laughs> the I love you. You don't forget the I. No, <laughs> you I'm, not, you're, you're I'm not picky me. with Brad. I'm like, you can just say like, Illy, love you. Illy? Illy. Send a damn heart. <laughs> yeah. A purple one. I don't care. I'll be sending him hearts and he don't be replying with hearts. Wait, well, I don't get no <laughs> hearts with the is this? What I is this? Right <laughs> Bradley Martinez on my contact. Right Martinez here. is crazy. <laughs> Martinez. Do I have a Mexican flag? Yeah, you do. Yeah, let's go. Yes. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> I don't know that's so funny. Oh, that's crazy. Wait, wait, look. Did you, did you send it with? That look. is so funny. Can you see this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Okay, now. Sylvie, so, make sure you check that. Can no, you see just, that? Let's just leak his number, man. No, don't leak his number. No. Then he's not going to give me his new one. That's dope. Bradley Martinez is crazy. That's so funny. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it is a heart. Sarah, you graduated uh, college, yeah? I graduated Masters? a while ago. My ceremony was in May. Ceremony? ceremony? <laughs> no. Wait, what? Ceremony? Ceremony. Bro, they're awesome. Oh, my God. What? Oh, you said ceremony? Uh, Not like a ceremony. I heard ceremony. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Ceremony. 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 Oh, you thought a ceremony. Ha, ha, ha. Ceremony? No, no. That's oh, not what, what I said. No, what? I said. <laughs> Wait, why'd you I, say that? Ceremony? No, they just said ceremony. Like oh. they Sarah use Sarah in front of Moni. Not moaning. Moni. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Anyways, why did you? Why is it so late? Didn't you graduate like two years ago? No, I graduated. You got a master's. No, a master's. I, I finished my master's in October, but the ceremony was in May. Like the ceremony is once a year. Um. So yeah, I did finish a while ago, but. That's dope. I'm proud of you. Who's got AirPods detected near me? He's following me. Who's that? I don't even own me. AirPods. That's you? I have AirPods. Okay. Right. Well, you thought the ops are after <laughs> you, bro? I was like, yo, where's the strap? <laughs> <laughs> you got that <laughs> here, huh? Wait, so what are some next plans? What, are, what do you guys have coming up? Like, what are some next plans for you guys? What are we doing? We want to take Brad to work construction. Yeah. I'm down, dude. We want to take Brad to work construction. That would be funny. I'm down. With the boots, the pants, the shirt. I I the, everything. Honestly, Back I'd love to do it. Get a tan, I'd love to do it. That'd be dope. I'm down. Hey, but I, I don't want to take you on no no shit like on the on the warm eighty day. I want to take you like one hundred ten degrees. No, I want I want it to be hot. I want to get tan. Bad, 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 bad. Like valley heat. Yeah, we're not gonna be the valley though. That's too close. Well, where, to where? So L A. Oh, I go? hate L A. It's not L A. Like, it's usually like the good like neighborhoods of L A. I mean, like, I don't care what neighborhood. I just hate L A. So like, do I. Anything past I love literally, the valley. Love anything past oh, I love the valley. I love the valley too. The valley's amazing. I be getting homesick. Yeah. Do you get homesick when you travel? Yeah, because I miss my dogs. Uh, always. Oh, yeah, always. me too. Like, I miss everybody. Felipe's been uh, flying l- lately. I don't know if you guys have seen. He's been on airplanes. Yeah. First bro, time. I, first time. I get deported, bro. I landed in Detroit. That's right next to Canada. Like, right there. Like, Canada's right bro, no there. No one's going to deport you. No one's deporting mm. you, dude. I hope not, man. You're not, like, you're You're just not that, you're not the guy to get deported, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're not him. Yeah, <laughs> you're not him. Like, yeah. if you start doing some drug stuff, nah, then nah, they coming nah, for nah. you. My mom beat my you know? They 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 be like yeah, oh, okay. oh yeah. They I'm so glad, care, man. You've been flying a lot lately. What the f- you? Nah, like this year, Felipe is like exploring. Like yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I have been. It's insane. Like I went to Vegas. I flew to Vegas. Came, but we flew to Vegas and came back the same day. Like for a YouTube video, it was crazy. Wow. And that was my first flight ever. They're really YouTubers, huh? Yeah. Spirit yeah. though. Yeah. We, we put- thinking we were flying private. We were yeah, yeah. Whatever. Who cares? This is, this is how much money D- uh, Felipe is making now. The other day, I was like, Yo, you went to the casino. How much you make? He said only three hundred. I didn't say that. You did. You know who little bro me? When I first I went to a casino and made $100, this guy here, he's like, what you pull up with? I was like, bro, I pulled up with 100 bucks and I came out like 170 He's like, that's it? <laughs> like, he literally said that. He's like, that's it? No, don't take his that's word. That's a lot he, of money. He loses 10K. The only day I was playing. Yeah. It did mm. it again. All right, guys. So our camera keeps going in and out. Oh, in and out sounds good. We're going to cut it. We're going to cut it. sounds amazing. In and out also sounds as- like ceremony again. It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That camera's broken, so now you guys have the far out shot. But we love you guys. And thank you so much, Diego and Felipe. You guys are two of the best men besides Bradley that I know. Thank genuinely. you. Genuinely. Thank you for having no, thank us. Thank you for having us for us. You're both amazing. Do you have anything you want to share? Just 
Come out. It's the month. It's your month. It's your month. Oh, no. it is. Yeah, hey, man. Men's Mental Health Awareness there Month. There it is. Oh, that's hey, the man. month. That's that, the month. That's the mental month. Health. This that's is good. We had had that whole conversation. That was a great. That's why I was going to bring it up when you were going. When yeah. You, when you're getting deep. Is it yeah. When you when you're going balls deep. Month or what? Yeah. 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 Men's Mental Health Month. It is. Very June important. Is Men's yeah. Mental Health Month. So uh, that's what we're celebrating. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Should we take a shot to that or not? You got any alcohol? I mean, I always have alcohol. I don't really. She's the one who's crazy about drinking. All right. Well, I mean, thank you guys for having us. For real. Thank you. Of course. From the bottom of my heart, I always appreciate you. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, love Sarah. You. I love you. Love you. Love I love you. Bro. Thank you. Love you, bro. Nah, I love you. I love you, bro. He's not saying it. Y'all seen this? I love you. Oh, he said it. I said it. I love you. I love you. I love you more. But yeah. I love you. I love you. Love you. Yeah. I love you guys. Please like, comment, He's like, I was waiting for my. I know. I was waiting for my. You're doing shit right here. No, I love you, Diego. You're a good guy. You're here too. What about me? Sarah, you're great. No, I like you. I like you. You're great. Sarah's great. He pulled the dad. He pulled the Felipe's dad. Felipe's dad on there. I love you, Sarah. You're oh my god! Click that, everyone. <laughs> we love you guys. Bye. Out of here. Peace.